not a bad spot. And, and, and if anything, this is where I feel the safest. <laughs> How's it going everyone? My name is Rune and welcome to what is potentially the true finale of Five Nights at Vault 5. So today we're going to do the ultimate night on the ghost the go oh, the ultimate night ghost challenge because we're almost done. Um so uh actually the game has been updated once again uh to version 1 point eight i believe and if you look very closely this teddy bear has a hat and a tie on him now um there's also been uh, i kind of forgot to mention it in the last episode but there has been a new thing added to the terminal called the it's the introduction room what this does is it makes it so that you can learn how to play the game <laughs> uh so we're actually gonna go do it um, there's also some coins in here. Um, I've only been able to track down two of the coins in here. I haven't picked them up because I wanted to show you where they were. So hopefully we can find, if there's a third coin in here, the third coin, because I'm missing three. Hello, welcome to the Vault 5 introduction room. In Hi. this room, you will be quickly introduced to the challenge awaiting you inside the arena of Vault 5 complete with short explanations on each of its vital elements. Now please walk through the open door. Okay, so before we actually uh, walk through the door, I'll show you where the first coin is. It's sitting right here, so right next to the door. Okay, 13 of 15. So I'm missing two coins. On the left side of the room, you can see a smaller replica of the room in which all the robots initially reside. Always remember to take a peek inside, since Mr. Handy Robots aren't going to be the only type of robot you'll encounter. On the right side of the room, you can see the holograms of the robots. Within the arena proper, these holograms mark the places where the robots will first appear at the start of the night. You might want to stay away from them when the countdown reaches zero. Now, once again, please walk through the open door. The arena contains several terminals, such as these, to add to the challenge and to prevent you from sitting in one place for too long. Every now and then, one of the terminals will start sending an alert. Like this. When you see that a terminal is sending an alert, all you have to do is to find the one with the flashing red screen and turn it off. Try it. Alright, just turn it off. We've... Good. <laughs> Obviously I know what I'm doing. For the purposes of this introduction, these terminals are completely harmless, and their alerts cannot do anything to you. Yeah. However, within the arena proper, hmm. you will always have a limited time to turn off the alert. If you don't turn it off in time, the affected terminal will start emitting heavy doses of radiation. So make sure to always get to them in time! Please take note of the fact that in your Pip Boy's logo map, the alert is marked with a big warning sign. This is how you can easily tell which of the terminals is currently sending the alert. For the purposes of this introduction, the alerts of these two terminals are going to repeat endlessly, so you can keep turning them off for as long as you like. Not sure you why you'd ready, want to do that, please but... Walk through the open door. In the arena, your main means of defense are the doors, such as the one on the left side of the room. In the arena, if a robot spots the you, they will try to catch you. If that happens, coin all you need to is do here. Is to shut the door to block their path. This will immediately cause them to seize their chase. As you can see, the doors are equipped with special buttons with arrows, which lets you close them from around a corner. Also, the doors will open on their own after a short while. For the purposes of this introduction, the doors you will encounter here are completely harmless. However, within the arena proper, shutting a door will unleash a small amount of radiation upon you to prevent you from becoming overly reliant on them. Keep that in mind and plan accordingly. Now it is time for a small test. A robot will be passing through this room in a short while. Please make sure to close the door when they spot you. Thank you. 
Perfect. Now, with this step concluded, please walk through the open door. Within the arena proper, you will be given an option to track the position of one of the robots. Why not try it now? Look into your pit boy go to Items Apparel, and search for the tracking device Moon and 2. Now look into your pit boys local map. The chosen robot will appear on it as a named triangle. Take the time to observe how the position of the triangle changes whenever the robot moves. When you are ready, please walk through the open door. This last section will be a small test of what you have learned so far. You will need to reach the terminal in time without being spotted by any of the robots. You can see the path and the obstacles ahead through the windows. For the purposes of this introduction, being spotted by the robots isn't going to do anything to you other than forcing you to start the challenge over. But keep in mind that in the arena proper, every participant has to wear an explosive collar on their neck, which will go off if any of the Mr. Honey robots catches them. Just a small incentive for you to always try your best. When you are ready, please use the terminal next to the door to begin. Excellent! Your victory concludes this introduction to the Ball 5 Arena. We hope that you enjoyed it, and we wish that you will find our survival training program effective in teaching you the intricacies of always being ahead of your enemies. Nice and easy. Alright. So now that that's over with, the true challenge begins. Ladies and gentlemen, the ultimate night. <sighs> oh yeah, so another thing, um, White Widow got a new uh, design. It's pretty cool. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, actually, shoot, I should probably say this before the night starts. This is for the developer. There's a coin that normally sits here. If you notice, the door activation thing is too big. You cannot click, collect that um, coin. Okay. All right. First terminal. Oh crap, this is gonna suck so bad. Back up. Alright, where is everyone? Alright, they're all hanging out up there. It's nice and cool down here for me. <laughs> okay, next one. It's all the way over there. White Widow's over there, but we shouldn't have to worry too much about her. Yeah, she moved. Close that door. Close that door. Okay, where is everyone? <sighs> okay, it's all good. It's all good. Okay, go, go, go. Check. Check everything. Should be safe. Alright, where is everyone? Alright, quick save. It is now one o'clock in the morning. Okay. It's nightmare time. Next 
this is store. Alright, I'm gonna do do the cheatsy doodle thing. <sighs> okay. Okay. It's all good. It's all good. We're all good. No nothing to be scared of. Oh crap, besides White Widow. Okay, of course they're all over there. Shoot, shoot. Ugh. Okay, Glitron. Oh, crap. Go away, dude. I forgot about Nightmare. <laughs> oh yeah, forgot to mention, all of the um, animatronics have these sounds that um, are accustomed to when they kill you. That was White Widow, I believe. Okay, so I have to make it all the way up here. <laughs> How am I gonna do this? With Nightmare, White Widow, Bun Bun, and Miss Cheeky all in my way. <laughs> I'm gonna die. There is no way I'm gonna survive that. <laughs> Especially with Nightmare around every corner. I don't see how. It's all gonna be luck, isn't it? Maybe if I get right behind Bun Bun here. No, no, not Bun Bun. I gotta... Oh my god! Okay, Nightmare is... Okay, Nightmare is op totally opposite of me right now. Which is totally... something I'm okay with. Ugh. And Miss Cheeky's right behind me. Just close all of them. Not just one, all of the doors. Shit. I knew it! I saw I saw the dark I saw the dark lights and I was like, no, nope, Nightmare's gonna either get me or I'm gonna just barely make it past him. I saw that coming a mile away. Oh dude, I t Oh, I saw him. Alright, nightmare. You gonna chill up there for a minute for me? Yep. All right. Ooh, he's super close. <laughs> okay, how far forward do I need? To wow, two, skipped two. All right. <laughs> oh, gee, no, no! Damn it! Damn it! I saw him coming. That's what she said. said ah, ah. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> ah, this is when Nightmare gets really difficult because he's got all these other people keeping him company. Oh jeez, okay. Actually, not a bad spot. And, and, and if anything, this is where I feel the safest. <laughs> Look a little too. Yeah, this is gonna. This is gonna be good. <laughs> this is gonna be good. Close it, close it, close it, close it. Where's you? Ah, 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 close! Oh my god, look at how many of them are over there. Go away! Tables for the cool kids. Fuck off. Ready? He go. Which way did he go? I do not know. 
Go away, please. Okay, he's gone. Wait, what? Where is it? Oh, it's the one. Okay. This one's a little easier to manage. Not if I keep. Ah! They're on tracks. I shouldn't have problems with them. <laughs> They're on tracks. I shouldn't have to, to do this. Ah. I hate this so much. I refuse to let you take that from me. It's mine. It's mine. Quick save. I'm done doing that. <laughs> mm. It's going to drive me absolutely goddamn insane. Two o'clock in the morning. Ugh, only two o'clock. Nightmare's just hanging out behind me. You can hear this staticky freaking nuisance of a voice thing. Come on, pal. Walk off. Okay, next terminal. We're doing good. The fact that we can't take in all that radiation from the other guys makes this a lot easier for me. Okay. Where is everyone compared to me? This is a mess. Alright. Glotron and White Widow. They're chilling like they normally do. There's Bun Bun and Cheeky on their normal routes. Cheeky's going up here. Bun Bun's going down. Down? So... Gotta be kind of careful of Bun Bun. Luckily, I'll probably just miss him. If things go the way I intend them to here, that is. Alright, Glotron. What does that do? Not a door there. You just killed me. What? Dude! Glotron! You're not supposed to stay there. <laughs> Bad robot. Ooh. Trying to juke me. Sneaky bastard. <laughs> oh, ooh. Go try and just haul an ass. <laughs> Nightmare! Oh my god, I... Aloha! <laughs> ah. Wait, where is the terminal? Oh dear god. That's a lot of space to move in less than 20 seconds. Damn door! This is where I'm going to take in a lot of radiation poisoning. Or die. The choice is mine. Da death it is. If anything, I got really lucky. That was... That was nothing but look! Don't... Don't make me regret saving there, please. Please. Don't make me regret saving there. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Just go. <laughs> ah. I can hear his static. He's coming for me. 
Okay, as soon as he gets close enough to the door. No, 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 no. Okay. Whew. Oh no! Why? Widow. Not a problem if she can't see me. Okay, nightmare. No, nope, these lights are just broken. I gotta figure out where she's going. Okay, yes! Yep, Nightmare's just breaking lights, guys. Just I'm gonna advance on him a little bit. See, because I knew. I knew. I was, I was being smart. I was making intellectual choices on what to do in reality. Now, four o'clock in the morning. Did I just get fucked? I think I did. I gotta move quick. That is li <laughs> I'm in hell. This is my hell. <laughs> okay. Next terminal. All the way down there. Not a big deal. Okay. Back here. I don't know why I feel safe here. Maybe it's the blood-soaked uh, uh, carpet. <laughs> uh, I think that's what's keeping me sane. So there's a little trick that I've realized. This, as soon as the lights uh, closest to you go dark with Nightmare, chances are you should hit the button because if he gets any closer than that, you're probably going to end up dead as a doorknob. Like that see it's a good little trick these uh these things don't use them when you're playing through um the non-ghost challenge nights because i think it it really trivializes the challenge like really trivializes the challenge oh, okay in turn Now, with these ones, unfortunately, I can't tell how close Nightmare is. <laughs> okay, that, that he's gone. White Widow might be a little bit of a problem. Nope, all it good. It didn't save, did it? Oh, thank God. Okay, Nightmare. Show me your moves! Okay. Should be okay. I'm gonna close this door. Because I don't know where White Widow is heading. Not the way I want her to go. Can you turn around, please? It is now oh. five o'clock in the morning. Okay, uh, Cheeky got me last time. Should be okay. Oh! <laughs> That's the first time I've actually seen him. Wow. Oh, God. Ooh, doggy. That was bad. <laughs> uh, God. Not bad, considering what's been happening. I mean, this could have been going a lot worse. It's 5 o'clock. So, I mean, 20 minutes? Not bad. Well, 20-ish. I kind of had to stop recording at one point. But for the amount of time I was expecting this to take, it's taking a lot less time. Nightmare's always a problem. Don't know why I closed the door. Nightmare was not even remotely close. Still moving. Trying to juke. Can't juke me, Nightmare. <laughs> every time. Fucking every time. Got me that time. Guess <laughs> he walked me into White Widow, goddammit. Now, there's a thing that you can add in the cheats menu. Uh, I don't think it's in the cheats menu. I think it's in the options. Oh, God. Um... That lets you 
have an extra set of doors. I was so tempted to use it, but I realized I don't really go through that section too frequently. It's um, it's right here. Uh, I'll show it to you uh, before we leave, if I can. Um, I was thinking about using it, but I was like, eh, there's no real point. What? Oh, that's the door. I was like, what's beeping? I think that's what these two, those buttons that uh, are there are for. The, the the corner ones, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm just going to assume that that's what they're for. Ooh. Son of a bitch. Come on. Bye. Damn it! Ugh. Ultron just taking a sweet freaking time. Oh good, he actually went the way he normally does. Making my life a little bit easier today. Goodbye. Nope, go away. <laughs> Just fuck right off, dude. Oh good, White Widow. She's still hanging out. Now six o'clock in the morning. You did it. <sighs> uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh God. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, before we go, um, additional doors. Uh, see, bam. Oh God! <laughs> You've beaten the ghost challenge for the ultimate night. You reward a super-powered stealth boy that has no duration limit. Now you can stay invisible for as long as you like. That is such a good reward. Oh man. Anything? Anything else? No? Really? Okay. Let's see the super stealth boy. Bug whom? I'm invisible and I have no hair. Oh man. <laughs> oh god, that feels so good. <laughs> I have four I have four vault suit vault five jumpsuits. I didn't mean to drop that. Oh man. <laughs> Alright uh, guys, I do want to say thank you all for watching, um, and thank you for everyone who has liked, commented, subscribed, supported. Thank you guys so much for watching again. If you liked the video and you like my other videos, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you again.